is why you're doing online kindergarten. You have to put it over your nose. If you want to wear it properly, you have to put it over your nose. Maybe, maybe it's just not staying. Fair. All right. Now, Giddy and Nellie both want to wear their masks, although they absolutely do not need to. What I told them is to change into clothes that they don't I'm mind if hydrogen peroxide mask. gets on. Oh, all right. So. Can uh, I get the mirror real quick? Mm-hmm. So we are going to be working with hydrogen peroxide, which is why I asked everyone to change their shirt. Giddy has changed his whole face. Yes, I have. Mm-hmm. So we need a glass or plastic 16-ounce bottle. So Giddy's mask was too itchy, and so he took it off. He wore it for about five minutes under his nose. All right. All right. Dr. Pepper and cream soda. Uh, that's not part of the experiment. Okay, Penelope, you assemble the ingredients. We need liquid dish soap. That would be the Dawn over here. I thought all dish soap was liquid. No, there's powder that you can put into the dishwasher. Into that, yeah. Well, well, I thought... Okay, okay. Why and did we, you use the dishwasher soap? We also need measuring cups and spoons. This doesn't tell us which ones we need. Hmm. It doesn't even say which ones we ever need. So just get okay. out. Just get out a measuring cup. Yeah, there we go. And some spoons. I don't know if it means measuring spoons or just, I don't know. Hmm. We've got the hydrogen Mom, peroxide. Do we need these spoons? I don't think we need all those spoons. What are you doing? I didn't do the jam dance. I did the let's get the jam and powdered sugar off the counter dance. Now here. I guess this is from the waffles that we had earlier. All right. Clean. So I, uh, you guys are weird. All right. I'm not sure what spoons we officially need, so we'll just get a whole bunch. Are you left-handed? I don't think so. Okay. No, we don't need the gloves. Because they'll protect Are you wearing those on the wrong hands? Probably. Those are the only hands he has, Nelly. He just told Grandma we were making coronavirus. <laughs> Okay, we've got a baking sheet. We don't really, it won't hurt you. We're not, I don't know what you think we're doing in here. It's gonna, it's gonna touch my skin. No, I just wanted you to change out of your good clothes in case it bleached them. I, we're not gonna just pour hydrogen peroxide all over you. That's not the, the thing. All right, now we need. I, I want to keep my hands protected anyways. We need a funnel. We're gonna have to find the funnel. And where's the yeast? They, Grandma set it aside. Where did that yeast go? Penelope, you will handle the hydrogen peroxide because you're the oldest one. You're the, all right. Well, I, since I'm the youngest one, I have, I have full protection. Excellent. Okay, Nelly, yeah. pour us, um, how much does it say? Uh, one well, half cup, know. one half cup of hydrogen peroxide. Oh, I'm scared. I'm gonna die, Giddy. Say your goodbyes. I used to gargle with hydrogen peroxide, so, or like swish it around in my mouth when I had like a cut or something. I don't remember what I was doing. It's gross tasting, so it can't be that lethal. Yes, half cup. Okay. Oh, God. I think you guys think it's more dangerous than it is. It's rising. Well, she's pouring more in. That's why. I'm scared for you. <laughs> I'm gonna die, Did you put it on there? In there? Is it? Not what are you doing? Don't put it on the waffle iron. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to oh, alarm gosh. you. I just wanted you to change your clothes. Nellie, do be careful. It yeah, could you know, sting your skin. Okay. Now. Giddy, I was never gonna die. I was just weirding you out. Okay. Now let me look I'll at the instructions. Right. All right. So we will use the pink food coloring. So color it says, how much dish soap? Put a squirt of dish soap in the Dr. Pepper bottle. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yes, that's exactly right. Just squirt it on in there. Put a little more. I, I don't know if that's, that's enough. Scary. That's enough of a squirt. All right. Why next. You up dish soap. Next. Dish soap is so scary. I, I'm scared for the real explosion. There isn't okay, so. Uh, all right. Ooh, we're going to make an exothermic reaction. 
Okay, so now you put oh in a, a squirt of the food coloring. Since the dish soap is blue, this might come out purple, actually. So, okay. Squirt of stuff's going to happen. You think so? Well, there's already an ambulance coming, so all right. So a squirt of dish soap, squirt of food coloring. Add the hydrogen peroxide to the bottle. So you can just, I'll hold the funnel, and you pour... Science in the making. All right. Now, nothing too weird has happened yet. Now we need to add the food coloring. Okay, okay. so place the bottle in the baking dish. Oh, yes, that's the ba on the baking sheet. All right. I'm so not, open I'm the not, yeast I'm and fill sure up one this. tablespoon of yeast. Mom, I'm not sure about this. You're not sure? I'm not sure either. I don't know how to do anything with yeast. Um. Oh, wait. Is it... Is we, are we going to if we had yeast, then we're going to summon the beast. If we had yeast, we're going to summon the beast. <laughs> Wait, don't, yeah, that's a tablespoon. So what are we going to do? We're summon going to the add the yeast. Guess, you need a tablespoon of dry yeast. yeast. You're going to put it in this baggie. So, Giddy, so can you open this baggie? Beast. Oh, you can't. Hold. Say it's a tablespoon? I think so. Okay, that's mm -hmm. close enough. I, I, uh, yeah. So put it in that baggie. And also into the baggie. Okay, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm you are going, is not going to explode. You're going to add two tablespoons of cool water. Cool water? Oh no. If you add cool water, it summons the beast daughter. Oh yes. no. Okay, okay, okay that's. It summons the hot version of her. Oh, you think so? Okay. But this will be the cool version. Can She'll be like. Again? Hello, what's up? I don't know what's cool. I was going to say she would be. And if you, well, and if you put And then add another one. And if you. Oh, now we're making wet yeast. Wet yeast. Wet yeast to summon the beast. I'm not even recording anything. Okay. You're not recording? I'm recording. It's just not showing anything very good. Now zip that up. Okay. Well, zip up the baggie. Good. Yeah, yeast is what makes bread, so it's going to smell like beer. Zip it up and shake it up, but don't let it get out. Like, make sure it's zipped. Let Giddy shake it up because Giddy never gets uh, a job. Okay. Here, Giddy, you shake up the yeast and summon the beast. Ah! Summon the beast, Be Giddy. Be you think the beast is getting summoned? Shake it up some more. Mix it up some more. The beast is gonna be summoned. All right. Disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. All right. Now, what does it say? It says, mix it up. I did. Okay. Now listen to this. Up. This Mix is it important. Up. It up. Don't do anything yet. Just listen. Okay. It says, use a funnel to pour the yeast mixture into the peroxide mixture. Do this step quickly mm -hmm. because the reaction happens immediately. Can the I foamy the, the foamy mixture that explodes from the bottle is just colored soapy water, but it will feel warm. But it's going to be, it's safe to touch, but it will feel warm because it's an exothermic reaction. Ah, so, so okay, Giddy, do you want to come watch? Come watch, Giddy, or you'll miss it. Okay, I'll hold the funnel, and, let, and Nellie will pour in the yeast to summon the beast. Here it comes. She's summoning the beast. Ah, the beast! Ah! Oh, Let's see. Paste. Is that what they called that online? Yeah. Giddy, do your elephant impression. Can I touch it? Yeah, sure. Wait, it looks like yogurt. Is it warm? Touch it gently. Don't get it on your clothes. Go ahead. You can put your finger in it. Looks like yogurt. Is it hot? Oh, it's no. supposed to be an exothermic reaction. It is warm. It's not hot to me. But, uh. Don't wipe it on your clothes. No, it's okay. Oh, okay. These are. These are Easter egg dyeing clothes anyway. This is an exothermic reaction. It's making peeps. It's still going. Hey, Yid Giddy. Hey, Giddy. Giddy. Giddy and Nellie, come right here and Nellie, kneel down and guys make excited oh, no, faces. <laughs> Giddy, make your most excited face. No, you Giddy, you need to hold stiller. Nellie, where are you? Giddy, where are you? Come over close. Yes! Make your mad scientist face. But, like, you're making it off and uh, come over here by the bottle and make a crazy face. I can't see you at all, Giddy. Nellie's doing great. <laughs> Giddy, come here and make a face. 
Now just stay there, but just make your face move. Make your face take a trip, an exciting trip to Dr. Pepperland. That Twenty-three so flavors. How long do I have to be? Oh here? wow, it's really filling yeah, it up. Stinks. Oh, it does stink. We summoned the beast with that yeast. No, it's no, it doesn't smell stinky. You don't think it does? It's still coming. Wow. It's elephant toothpaste. I think it's just about done. What do you think? No, it's not. Can I dump it out? Yeah. Let go. Let go. go. Here, get it, get in there and look and see what happens. Mom. Is that elephant toothpaste? I'll have I to look up what elephant right. toothpaste I is. Well, I know there's not actual toothpaste in elephant toothpaste. No toothpaste. He's seen them do some kind of experiment there's online, no though. In elephant Why is there so much stuff everywhere? Like, there's no toothpaste in elephant toothpaste. That's what I said. Is, are there elephants? Yes, there is. Hmm. I, if I, I, feel, I thought I said there wasn't a toothpaste. Well, that was kind of neat. You can feel the bottle's hot from the exothermic reaction. This is so cold. Feel the bottle, Giddy. Anything? Giddy, feel the bottle. Feel the bottle at the bottom, how it's warm. Touch it for a minute. Feel the warmth? You have to feel it, like, around the sides, where it is. Yeah, I do. Okay. He's like, yeah, whatever. It's like mom. yogurt. Yeah. That's kind of gross. Um, Let's wash our hands. Mm. So I expected it to be more explody than that. No, you want to, it might irritate your skin because it's also got hydrogen peroxide in it. Let's go rinse off.